Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a mechanical mod from America. It's made by Drip in Revolution and it's called the Ronin X2. Or is it Ronin Mod X2 Ambition? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a big mod and it's made from copper and it looks awesome. Uh, and it's also a competition mod, if that matters. I really like this because it's it's just big chunky copper. You can't go wrong. Uh, I mean, this little video here, this is me six years ago getting really excited about copper mods and, and nothing much has changed in the past six years. You get a matching copper atty and a matching copper mod and I, I just go weak at the knees. Now this is, it's not cheap. It's £165 uh, in the UK. Well, this the guys from Liverpool Vape Shack sent this on to me. Uh, the link to their website shall be in the description for this video. So if you want to buy one, go along. You can check it out there. Uh, they do a copper one and they also do a brass one. Now, the brass one is naval brass and the copper is trillium copper. I think that's the same stuff that uh, Captain America shields made from. No, maybe not. Sorry, just dicking about as usual. I'll do close-ups, I'll show you the mod getting taken to bits, give you all the technical spec, and then we shall have a summary at the end. For now, close-ups. So what do you get for your money? Well, first off, the mod arrives in a <laughs> kick-off package like this. Uh, we've got a big clasp on the front here. Unclip that, and boom, there we go, one mod. I know there's a lot of people use these things now, but uh, they are quite impressive and they're great for storing your gear in. On your little card, you'll have some warning information. It gives you the battery direction that you need here as well. Uh, on the back, you will find, you know, the mod uh, will be signed off and there is also a serial number here as well. Now for the mod itself, you're looking at about 94 millimeters or just about 95 millimeters in length here and it is 25 millimeters across the top. It is a hybrid connection, it's a hybrid 510 and I'll just get in and we'll show you this logo here. So we have a Ronin going on here, it states that it's a competition mod. I'd say this is etched on here rather than heavily engraved and we have some, excuse my take on this, but we have some bald dude with a gas mask on. Uh, we also have some uh, machine guns and some wings going on here. It's not my kind of thing, I have to be honest, it really isn't. But I can't take away from the fact that it is very, very smart looking. And I think that'll do for that. Right, the way this works, so we have a button here. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll unscrew this. Take that out. We also have this section here, we'll unscrew this. So here is the tube. Now I have not, I've had this for about a week and a half, two weeks, and I've not polished this at all. And you can see that it's, it's not, there's no patina on it. It's still very, very clean. And for me, that's a good indication that they're using good quality materials, good quality copper on this one. Now we do have, and I should be able to push this out, we do have a, a Delrin sleeve that goes in here as well. So I can just pop that back in there. Boink, and she goes. And that's a great thing. You know, if you've got any tears or wraps on your battery, you're not going to have any issues in that respect with it touching the body. The actual switch itself, we have our corresponding serial number here. We have a silver plated copper contact. We have venting going on. You know, there's air will travel down through here and come out the bottom. And we have Ronin and we have the American flag. Now this is, there's no two ways about it, this is a tall mod, uh, it really is rather large, uh, but what I can do is I can just push this in. Now you can adjust this, you know, I can push that in and I can tighten my contact down and you can get some adjustment on the throw for the switch. Or at least that's what it says, in my opinion this is what we called back in the day, this was just unscrewing your switch. Uh, it wasn't so much an adjustment feature, it was just unscrewing it but if you want you can you know you can change the throw a little bit so I'll just take this contact out let this go here and then you can see that we have big massive chunky magnets going on here <laughs> these are 
<laughs> These are some of the biggest magnets I've seen in the whole time that I've been reviewing. Uh, and that just pops on there and you can see that you've got more magnets in here. Now we just pop that back in there. And the switch is only going to go in one way. You can see that it's, you know, you push it, nothing's happening, and then it just drops in. So it's, it's, it's well located there. And then holding that back together and just screw this in. I will say, I mean, we used to many moons ago with switches like this, we did find that, um, you know, when you tighten this down over a period of time, you would find that uh, the switch would unscrew itself, which was never a good thing. I've not had that issue with this mod. It's It's been performing really, really well. I like to have it just so that you can see that, see there's a slight recess there with the switch. I like to have it just so that the, bump that back, just so that it's almost sitting flush on the bottom. It's, it's just, I just prefer it that way. And there we go, that's it completely flush. And that's when I like it to be. So screwing this back on, you can hear the threading is, there's no burrs, there's, there's, there's no, there's nothing. This is perfect, this is as good as it gets. It's, it's big chunky threading, there was no dirt in it. It was just spot on. What I tend to do is I back off the switch like that. I don't screw it all the way up. Now we've got our VTC5A and I'm just going to drop that negative down. It goes down like that. I then grab my Atty because this is a hybrid 510 top cap. Uh, please remember that you know your 510 pin has to protrude. Uh, I have to be careful with that one. We also have a Delrin liner on the inside here as well, which is great. And then I just pop that on there and then just screw this down. So that's my atty on, and then I just screw that up, and that's me, good to go. So have a quick push here. You can push this anywhere, it fires. It's an excellent button, uh, it, no issues with the button whatsoever. Now what I could do is I could, I could back this off at the top here, I could screw the switch right up and then I could screw this down and then I would have that look going on. But but that just, you know, that, that's not for me, I'm afraid. Um, I prefer to have the, the switch backed off, screw this down and then have that like that. But the copper and copper action there, uh, it looks really, really good and the switch is tremendous. I will be completely honest here, as always, uh, this is a very good mod. Uh, this is well screwed together, as we say. Uh, I, I completely up front. I hate, I hate all this crap going on here. Uh, now I realise that uh, you know mech mods. There's not that much you can do with them. And, and over the years, I've seen so many designs, so many engravings, and so many interpretations of what to do with a mech mod. Uh, when you put competition mod on it and, and this kind of logo and, and it just, it's not for me. In saying that, taking that out of the equation because that is just purely personal taste, I cannot fault the way this is, thing is presented and the way it is made. Uh, it's, it's very good. It is very good. I love the switch. The switch is the biggest magnets I've seen in any make mod. Uh, but it's it, it's not too stiff. I actually really like it, and it performs very very well. Now you'll have to go easy on me. I r still have man flu going on here, so I can't do big chest busting vapes here. But uh, I'll I'll have a go. Yeah, that listen. This thing just kicks into life straight away. I mean. Can't fault it. I really cannot fault the way this thing performs, or or, or much of anything. Now the, the things that, as I said, I'm not a fan of the 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 etching on it. It's just not for me. Um, the other thing, and I, I do find it a bit strange. Uh, now I'm not going to get into the whole voltage drop stuff and whatnot because I uh, did that years ago. Used to do graphs. Used to do tests for mechs and things like that and people stopped caring about it and moved on. People seem to care again, but uh, I'm afraid I haven't caught up. Anyway, the, the thing I find strange is that for what is classed as a competition mod, 
is that they actually have this going on at the top here as well. Just take that off. I find I find that strange. Um, why wasn't it all just done from the bottom? Because my limited understanding is over the years that you know you don't want to introduce more threads into a, a mech because that just allows for voltage drop possibly. Um, so that one I find strange uh, that they do have that. I'm surprised it's not just a fixed top cap and you know just having that adjustment down at the bottom here. So whilst I find that strange, I still can't take away from the way it performs. I mean, this is a dual coil 0 0.15 ohm build that I've got here, and it's performing very, very well. The, the only other thing that I would possibly mention is that, you know, with that adjustability bit here, you know, it's, I don't do gaps. I don't, I, I just like straight on my mech. It has to be straight. So I'm not a, a huge fan of this. It just looks a bit, I don't know, unfinished for me. But once again, that's just personal taste. I cannot fault the way this performs and I cannot fault, it's just well screwed together. The only other thing I will say is the price, but that just, I'm, it's the same as anything and everything. Uh, I have mods here behind me that cost hundreds of pounds and you could buy a mod for a fraction of the price that will do the exact same job. The same applies here. It's down to your budget and what you want. All I can tell you is I can just show you these devices and it's up to you if you want to buy them or not. Uh, but aside from the etching and the logo, I will, I'll, I'm going to give two thumbs up. I think it's really well done this and I like it a lot. Seriously, if you told me six years ago that I would be sitting in my shed with a dead rabbit RDA in copper with some bald guy with machine guns and wings, I, I would have laughed my ass off. But here we are anyway. Uh, right, that's it for the Ronin. Uh, thank you to the guys for sending this on. It was greatly appreciated. Uh, you can find a link to the shop in the description and you can also buy this around the world. But uh, thank you to you guys as always for watching and we shall catch you next time. Bye for now. To the side of me here, you will find two videos that I think you may also be interested in. As always, please feel free to leave comments in the video below.